Hello everybody, welcome to another edition of Sonoran Reef. In this week's video we're going to be doing our review of the Neptune Apex ATK. Sit back, relax, and uh, let's see what this thing can do. Okay, so I have two issues uh, that I'm trying to solve by upgrading to the ATK. The first issue is that my auto top-off container is located in the benches um, by the side of my aquarium here. And I have a really hard time determining, unless I just remember to lift the lid, to see if that container is empty or not. So the first goal is to put a sensor in this bench to let me know that the water level is low. Now, the second issue I have, which is probably, uh, I don't know, some of you may consider it uh, laziness, but truthfully, I just, I'm so busy some days I don't remember what day it is. I'm sure you guys have been there. Um, so, I needed, I'm going to try to set up a reminder to let me know when my filter socks um, are needing to be replaced. The way I have my sump designed is that as the filter socks get full, the water level in that part of the sump rises and goes over an emergency spillway. And my hope is that by taking one of the uh, one of the sensors that I have and putting it in that section and connecting it to the auto top off, I'll be able to get an alarm that lets me know that that section is full, meaning the filter socks are full and they need to be replaced. So that's my other goal in setting this up. All right, so this is what's in the box here. That's what the box, everything looks like, comes in. And you guys have probably watched a ton of these unboxings, so I'm not gonna get crazy here. But there we have the, uh, the actual controller. Over here we have the sensor, a couple couplers, a aqua bus cable, the power, the pump, the there's the water line, and then the little instruction card. So that's basically right there everything that came with the uh, auto top off kit. And over here were some extra things that I got. I got a additional uh, leak detector. I got two additional sensors that I'm going to show you what I'll do with. And then I got a new salinity probe because I've been fighting the readings on mine for a while. So that is just some of the things that we're going to be installing today. Let's get this started. Okay, so that was the general unboxing. Like I said, I didn't want to get crazy. Um, there's a ton of unboxing videos, and this video is just about doing something a little bit more with the unit. So I wanted to kind of cruise through that pretty quickly. Now, um, again, we're going to cruise through this pretty quickly, but I wanted to kind of show you everything that was involved in the, uh, in the setup here, uh, just kind of setting up the components. So I'm going to be kind of watching it with you guys here. So uh, here we go. So this is the sensor unit. It's in my sump. Um, I kind of lowered the water to kind of get an idea of exactly where I wanted it. I want to make sure that the water level is below those outputs so that I don't have the possibility of a back siphon. So just trying to eyeball it, make sure I get these sensors right where they need to be. And right now I'm letting the water fill. The sensor for the um, filter sock detection is right here. As you can see, I've put it, I've changed out the filter socks. I've put the sensor just above the water line. So I wanted to make sure the water was passing under it and moving well. Um, I did some testing and it seems like as soon as that water gets about halfway up that sensor is when that's going to activate. 
So that's how I have that sensor set up for right now. And uh, we'll test it this week and let me know. And then this is just the auto top off. You can see the pumps in there. And you can see that the little sensor there is just above where the pump's gonna sit. And uh, this should work out well for letting me know when the auto top off is low and I need to, uh, I need to refill it. All right, your eyes aren't deceiving you. Uh, wardrobe change. This is now Monday night. I was doing this video edit on Sunday and as I was trying to bring in the video that I'm about to show you, I realized that the Wi-Fi adapter on my Apex stopped working so I wasn't able to uh, pull it up and show you this stuff so I've got that fixed. I've got a little scruffle today and uh, we're gonna get this done for you so I can get this video uploaded. Uh, but we're gonna take a look at the actual fluid monitoring module now and also look at how that incorporates into the uh, Apex Fusion. So um, let's take a look at that. Go ahead and pull up the uh, fluid monitoring mod and we'll pull up the portion of Apex that I have uh, that are controlling all of these switches. All right, so on the left we have my Apex dashboard and on the right the fluid monitoring module. We're going to go ahead and go down to the switches that are on the mod. I've already renamed them um, to coincide with what they are. So in number one we have the low sump. In port number two, the high sump, and that's the way they come. Uh, in port number three we have the filter and in number four the auto top off. So those are our four sensors. Basically closed means that they're wet and open means that they're dry. So everything right there is exactly how I want it to be. The filter socks is dry meaning it's not time to change them. The auto top off's full. Everything's perfect. So here are the alarms I have set up. You see I've already done one. If the auto top off is open, meaning if it is dry and uh, unclosed or open, then it's going to give me an alarm. Now we're going to do one for the filter socks. So pretty simple. If the filter is closed, sorry, stickler for the capitalization, if it's closed, then on. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't be typing this late at night. We'll get it. Okay, it's on. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to do. So, um, again, all of this is in an effort to make this simpler for me in terms of notifying me, reminding me when things need to happen. So, we're going to go ahead and update this and we should be good to go. Okay, so what are my thoughts? Well, uh, so far I've been very, very impressed. Um, a couple things that really impressed me, um, as you guys saw in the video, the uh, my auto top off is in pitch black. I mean, there's no possibility of light getting in there and it was still able to detect last week when I needed to refill the auto top off. So that was pretty cool. Um, it's the same sensors that are in the, um, oh, the dosing containers. So um, I kind of already knew that, but I just wanted to make sure. And sure enough, it, there was no issue there. Um, as soon as the water level dropped below, it sent me a text and it reminded me to go ahead and um, refill those. Uh, same with the filter sock. Um, about midweek, which is about the right time, it sent me a message that the circuit had been closed, which meant that the sensor was wet. I came home. Sure enough, um, it was time to change out the filter socks and uh, replace them, and everything went exactly the way that it should. Uh, the salinity stayed um, constant, which is why I got that salinity probe. Um, it stayed constant, so uh, I didn't have to visually see that it was keeping the perfect level, but every time I peeked in, it was. 
um, probably in a 140 gallon system, I think wavered maybe a couple cups of water. I mean, there was no change in the salinity at all. So um, if you guys need an auto top off, um, you can get this one. It doesn't have to be connected to an Apex. Certainly all the programming that I showed you in the end of the video, um, that needs to be done through an Apex, obviously. But um, you can use this without an Apex um, and be perfectly fine. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for your patience and me getting it posted up to you. Um, next week we're going to be covering um, just... Uh, whether I'm doing water changes or um, whether I'm doing other things to keep my water quality um, top notch. So that should be a fun video for you guys to check out. And uh, middle of this week, I'm gonna do just a short product review video of something that I saw online. So uh, that's gonna kinda be my new schedule, I think, is we're gonna do a midweek video, which will just be a two or three minute short little video, probably not go through the editing and everything, just uh, either a live video or something, just to, like a quick tip. And um, those will be midweek, probably on Wednesday. And then Sunday we'll do the longer videos. Again, this should have gone out yesterday, but, um, well, life happens. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, please subscribe. Um, it encourages me to stay up late like I'm doing tonight and post these things. So. Uh, make sure you like it make sure you subscribe it would love for you guys to share it if uh, you think that this is a good product review maybe something a little bit different than the other product reviews out there this was less of an unboxing and just kind of a show you cool things that you can do with it that are uh, maybe things that other people haven't thought of so uh, have a wonderful night and um, thanks again for watching like and subscribe and we'll see you next time